Hey, this is John with Proactive here in Greenville, South Carolina. We're out here at an office complex today. We're doing the curb and the gutters and the sidewalks. I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you a curb and gutter demonstration on the chemicals we use when we've got a lot of clay or rust stains on the chemicals. So we're gonna get this power washed off and then we'll show you the different chemicals we use in comparison that'll allow you maybe to make a decision on what chemicals would be right for you. Okay, now that we've gotten the curb and gutter pressure washed, cleaned off a little bit, and it's dried, and about about a 70 degree day here, it's beautiful in the upstate, we're going to apply three different chemicals that are acid-based, pH around 1.0 or less, that are designed to etch the concrete and or remove the rust or clay stains. We've got Oxbrite, which comes from Pressure Tech. It's about $35 for this box. Um, and what, how we mix this is we mix it uh, one pound of dry powder to a gallon of water. You can be down as much, as much as half of that depending on the strength of the application, but we find for this clay or rust that one pound is about, about right. So that actually drops the price of this down to about six to eight dollars a gallon uh, of material that's being applied. Uh, this cleaner here comes from EnviroSafe. It is a red clay stain remover. They sell that. It's about $35 a gallon and is designed to be applied directly out of the bottle through a sprayer. And we use backpack or a one gallon or two gallon hand sprayer or four gallon pack back sprayer. The last one is Bark. Uh, Bark is an acid remover. It comes concentrated. So you can mix this. Uh, we're going to do it today half, half water, half bark. Um, and that'll bring the pH up a little bit, but you can experiment depending on the strength of what you're actually cleaning. That's about $45 a gallon. So you got three different products at three different price points. And of course, whether you have to apply them once or twice or your application rate, um, we find a lot of the manufacturers recommend about 250 square feet per gallon. Um, we find that when we come to a curb and gutter like this, we get about 125 lineal feet per gallon when we get a spray application. So let me go ahead and spray these out and we'll allow you to watch real time what happens. We keep all three of these on the truck and we find they work for different reasons and different purposes. Even as we move across the upstate of South Carolina, the, the minerals in the clay will change. Uh, also, and so we'll find one product we'll use better in one area, and one uses, uh, will work better in another. Also, you need to do your own experimenting with what surface. This is concrete, it's gonna be a neutral concrete test, but for example, you know, our go-to is kind of bark off the foundation with a brick, works really well. And so you'll see we use these different products depending on the material that the clay is on, stucco, brick, that kind of stuff, vinyl, or based on the strength or the mineral content of the clay or rust that we're actually removing. Okay, they've been dwelling now for about 20 minutes and you can see the different color variations. We're gonna go ahead and crank up the power washer and rinse this off and then give you a final look. Okay, all three products were applied. They dwell for 15, 20 minutes, maybe 25. They were rinsed with a power washer. Now we let them dry so that you can see the difference. Oxbriders are preferred choice on concrete in this area when we're doing curb and gutters you can see a light application literally removes the stains we usually don't go back and rinse if it's raining in a day or two it's fine the clay remover is a good product it's not our go-to choice for concrete yet there's some natural stones that it is our go-to choice that the oxbride won't work on the same with the bark you see the bark work well here it's not our go-to on concrete. It works just as good as Oxbrite, but it's the price difference. I can mix up Oxbrite 
for about $8 a gallon, where the bark comes at about $45 a gallon. We can then dilute that down in half, but we still stay in the $20 range per gallon at an effective acid rate. But once again, the bark is kind of our go-to on masonry and brick. The clay remover works good on natural stone and we'll pull like a walkway of natural stone. We'll pull the clay out well and the ox brights are go-to for concrete. I hope this helps you when you're coming to uh, what chemicals to keep on your truck and what chemicals to use in what, what uh, situation. Uh, like I said, we do keep all these chemicals on the, on the truck. We use all of them depending on where we are and what our needs are, and we keep spray bottles handy to kind of test what we actually will need for the day. Comment below. Give us a call if you've got any questions. Like us if you would. Uh, follow our channel. If you want to know how we price out curb and gutter, how we actually go about looking at the job, pricing it out, and making sure we make money on the job, check out another video on that. And uh, subscribe to us. we got a lot more stuff. Once again, this is John from Proactive here in the upstate of South Carolina. Thanks for watching.